Shalom, everyone, from the Tabernacle of David Prophetic Dance Center in Jerusalem. It's a glorious day because I woke up, I have my health, and I can praise my Lord. I am truly grateful for this life that I have been given to steward day by day, step by step, moment by moment. Um, you know, there's a scripture that says, as broken bread and poured out wine. Broken bread and poured out wine is a metaphor and a picture of us as children of God staying in a contrite and humble place where our entire lives are surrendered to God, that we are ready to pour out at any moment. And we have to be sure that we're getting our daily fill-up time with the Lord so that we are ready to pour out to wherever and to whomever he brings us to in Yeshua's name. But then there's a difference in being broken and remaining broken. I've been a believer about 30 years, and I am on a healing journey. And I wish that my growth was faster, but at least I'm on the healing journey. And there are many who are believers who are broken, 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 and remain broken. And it's, it's not a judgment, it's an observation for myself to say, I don't want to remain a broken child of God. Jesus, Yeshua, is the beginning of my healing. But I have to want healing, and I do. And as I said, I've been on a healing path for many years. I don't want to remain broken. I do want to be as broken bread and poured out wine. I want to be completely surrendered. I want my life and my heart to be completely surrendered to God. But I don't want to remain a broken heart, broken hearted. And so we have to really want to desire to be healed. We're not going to be healed by osmosis. We need to yield our vessels so that God can heal us. And a very quick prayer is, God, heal me. Jesus, heal me. Heal me, Lord. I have to want to be healed. And, you know, it's not a judgment. As I said, it's an observation. There are some that are not on a healing path. And it is not enough to say, oh, I'm, I'm a spirit-filled believer. I'm a tongue-talking, you know, miracle-working in the Lord. No. First of all, the Bible says if you have not love, you have nothing. And everything else amounts to absolutely zero, nada, nothing. Love, you know, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of the virtues is love. We must love. That is the fruitfulness of the spirit. And we need to desire to be healed. And there are still some things in my life that have been the slowest to leave in my human nature. But let's desire to get healed. Let's not remain a broken hearted believer. If we think that being filled with the spirit is all that we need, absolutely not. Good health is body, mind, soul, and spirit all working together in harmony, in health, in synchronicity, balanced in Yeshua's name. God bless you from the city of the great king, Yerushalayim. Shabbat Shalom.